Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here in Procreate 5X. And for this one is actually quite a special tutorial because I've been getting quite a few comments on the channel asking me where did the recolor feature, where did the recolor option go in Procreate 5X? Because in the case that you, you were or not familiar with, the recolor function, which is a really useful tool, which allows you to quickly change colors onto an image, uh, used to be here in the adjustments menu. It was just, uh, I believe, just under the curves effect. And now it has been completely removed from the adjustments menu. But that doesn't mean that it's fully vanished. In fact, it is very much so present in Procreate 5X. So now for this tutorial, I actually want to take you the necessary steps to even understand why this change was made and how you can access the recolor function. So let's just grab the Apple Pencil here. And the very first thing that we actually want to do is go into the selection mode. So that's more or less where the recolor feature actually went to. And I'll explain this in a minute. So we're just going to select for now a, uh, an empty layer. So my line work is just going to be sitting at the top. And back into the uh, selection mode, freehand, which is a very well-known mode of, you know, if you want to fill a layer, if you want to fill your designs, without having to paint them, uh, quite a few artists actually use this, uh, this method, which is to uh, just kind of draw shapes, draw selections, and then adding the color fill feature here. So with color fill, you can actually paint areas that you select. So now with this mode uh, turned on, any closed shapes that you create, so for example, if you wanted to create the neck area now here of this character, I'm just making a quick selection and it's now painted with color. So how does the recolor feature actually goes into this? Why am I showing this feature first? Well, it is because we need to actually have some filled up shapes in order to be able to recolor them. Now I'm just going to step out of this mode. We're gonna go into the colors panel and I'm just going to select this other shade. It's just gonna be green for now. And we're gonna go back into the selection mode here. Now, notice that we still have color fill selected. So if I keep making um, any more like selections, closed shapes, it's going to be uh, painting still with the now the new color that I have selected. So let's just uh, tap on color fill itself to get out of this mode. And now that we're here, we're actually gonna go into the automatic. And as you can see, because I've already made two selections here, but if I tap on the skin of the character and I tap on these other two um, other shapes here, I can now go into the layers panel, tap on this layer and select mask. And this is just to show that the automatic selection still works very well, uh, and very much so in Procreate 5X. So I'm going to delete this and now finally comes the moment of the recolor section. So now that we have, that we are here on automatic, if now, if I tap into color fill, now when I tap on any shapes that I've previously colored, they are now receiving the new color that I have on my swatch. So basically that's how recolor now works in Procreate 5X. I do believe that the team behind Procreate has kind of streamlined a way, a, a productive way that you can make selections, fill them with color, and also tweak with new colors. Say for example now, if we have this other color here, I can just tap and choose between multiple colors here on my color palette. It's much faster actually, instead of having to go into recolor in the adjustments layer by making you know selections, you're just keeping everything in the selections menu. So now just to summarize guys, make sure that if you wanna do use the recolor feature in Procreate 5X, that you are with the, uh, with the selection mode applied, that you have automatic selected and you also have color fill. If you don't have color fill selected, you're only gonna be making selections that you can then apply them as masks onto a layer, apply them as masks onto a new layer, so on and so forth. So now if we go and change the color here, go back into the selection mode and I'll have color fill. Now tapping on these shapes will give you the recolor feature. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos, and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload, and the other one is a, is a video that YouTube is actually recommending you to check it out. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to another tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.